What's a liability? Now before I answer that question, I want to talk to you about a place called Toys R Us. If you grew up in the 1990s or the 2000s in the US, you probably have went to a Toys R Us or two. And now they're a lot of fun. They're tons of toys, video games, bright colors. They're fantastic. In 2018 though, um, Toys R Us went bankrupt. And that's a problem. You see, they went bankrupt because of their liabilities. But what's liabilities? See, liabilities is very closely connected to what's called debt. And remember, the balance sheet tells you what you own and how you paid for that. Now, a lot of ways that companies pay for things is by actually getting loans and then using that to buy inventory or buildings or things like that. The same way that you and I would buy a house is about the same way that companies buy buildings. They say, well, I can't pay cash because I don't have enough money to buy cash for a home. So I have to go to a bank, ask them for money, they give me money, and then I have to pay them money on a monthly basis to make sure that I'm up with my mortgage and they don't come steal my house away. The same thing for companies. You see, Toys R Us had a lot of debt. They expanded crazy and they were building these huge stores full of tons of toys every year. And in order to do that, they needed a lot of money and they got that money through loans. These loans, they had to pay monthly payments to to make sure it worked. And a lot of people think that really Amazon killed Toys R Us, but really it's these, these loans. You see, these monthly payments were so big, that was all the money that Toys R Us was making had to go pay these monthly payments. And so without being able to reinvest into their own company and build a website and things like that, they weren't able to compete with Amazon whenever Amazon did start selling toys. And so why, yes, Amazon did kind of kill Toys R Us, it was really because Toys R Us used so much loans and they didn't have enough money to pay off all the loans fast enough that they weren't able to grow. So that comes back to, okay, what's a liability? Liabilities is a really fancy way of saying debt or loans for most of the cases. You see, in order to be a liability, it's something that you have to owe someone some money in the future. In technical accounting terms, a liability is a future sacrifice in the future. The sacrifice does not always have to be money. It can sometimes be work. So for example, you know how we talked about accruals. And accruals are things that either one, cash has not changed hands, or the work has not been done. So there are situations where I actually owe you work the fact that I owe you a future sacrifice, me working in the future, makes it a liability. So, now that's a lot. Let's recap real fast. A liability, in most common terms, is very similar to a loan or a debt. Is that you owe someone something in the future. Whether that's money, you doing a project for them, or just some kind of sacrifice. And if you mismanage your liabilities, it can completely ruin your company. However, being able to analyze liabilities allows you to figure out, first of all, are they mismanaged? And then second of all, is this or is this not the best way I can possibly be doing this? And of course, liabilities is a way that a lot of businesses use to fund their assets. Assets are what you own. Liabilities is a form of ways that you can pay for what you own.